Also Mad Men. Welcome to video three of Be an Innovator with Dynamic Pages. If you're joining us new, we are going step by step to build a smart, dynamic record page from start to finish. So watch every video, share your progress online, and have a chance to win some prizes. All right, so in video two, we talked about best practices for designing a really useful, optimized, user-friendly record page. For video three, we will be getting hands-on in our orgs and starting to build out this awesome record page um, for Cloudy Care Club so that our users can easily sell and fulfill their care packages. I'm excited to hear from architect admin evangelist Leanne Reimel about how we can start customizing. So let's go hear from her. Thanks, Rebecca. I'm super excited to start getting into our demo environment and start building these awesome dynamic pages so that you can have these super optimized experiences for your users. So the first thing I wanna do is talk about what we're going to be building today. We talked about how we can ensure that the information on the pages we build is reflecting what our users need to see. And in this release, we can include fields in what we're filtering for on the page. So what that means is once we enable new dynamic forms, we have the ability to split up field sections on our record page in Salesforce and choose when and where to reflect those fields. So this is really powerful for us as admins as we figure out how to make individual record pages fit a lot of needs for a lot of users, maybe a lot of different types of use cases and have one page to rule them all. So let's dive into our environment and take a look at how we do that. I'm starting here in my Sunshine Chocolates environment. I'm on my homepage, but I'm gonna go right into my custom object project. And I've got a package subscription record here. And what I want to do is I want to be able to pick and choose exactly what fields are shown based on values on the page. So the first thing I'm going to do is enable this feature by going to record page settings in setup. And there's a whole page in setup that's dedicated to dynamic forms. And this will help you get ready to use dynamic forms. It links to a lot of great help information. It provides an overview of the feature. So I definitely recommend going through and reading all of this and then clicking that important on button and hitting save. Because now when I go back to my custom object project and I go into my app builder by going to edit page, I have a brand new section. So if you haven't been to app builder before, in the center, we've got our canvas. We've got all the information, the preview for what page we're building. On the left, we have our components that are available. And now we have this brand new section of fields that's available as well. So what I wanna do here is I wanna add a field section that shows me some of this care package description information. So I'm gonna make this called package details. I'm a big fan of adding these field sections and naming them really appropriately. It allows you to group and break up your fields here. And so I'm gonna bring over a couple fields that are specific to the care package, like care package type and care package notes. Now for my field section component, I'm gonna set component visibility here because one of the benefits of breaking up these field sections means that I can choose when different fields are displayed. I have a checkbox called care package member and I'm only gonna show these care package details when we're working with a member because that's when that information is useful but I also wanna have a different experience on this page if we're talking to a customer that's not a member. So I'm gonna bring over a rich text component here, and this is gonna prompt our viewer, our user, to talk to this customer about Care Package um, if they're not yet a member. And I'm going to filter this field, or this component, based on that same checkbox, true or false, are they a Care Package member? And if they're not, then we're gonna go ahead and show them this prompt. So this is a really simple rich text uh, component, but imagine building these pages based on field values like this and being able to split up fields to ensure you're only showing the right fields to your users that are relevant for that record. We also want to ensure that we're seeing the right actions on this page. So we're gonna enable a brand new feature, enable dynamic actions. And what this does is it allows us to control what actions are visible on a record page on desktop 
right from App Builder. So that means we don't have to go back to the page layout editor to control the actions that are displayed here. And what's more, we can go through, we can add all the actions that are available that we want for this page. And once we've added those actions, like sign up for care package, so that's one of our custom actions, we can actually arrange and, and sort them here so they display on desktop exactly how we want without creating any record type. So let's save our page and go back and take a look. So right now the checkbox is not checked. This says this customer is not yet a care package member. Awesome. So now what happens when we go through this action and sign up for care package? So let's go ahead and say, yes, they're now a member. This is a gift. They like the combo pack. This makes me hungry for candy. And we go ahead and fill out that information. And when we update that record with that action, now this experience on the page is gonna shift to include that field section component that we added. So that's how you can use dynamic forms, dynamic pages to break up your page, split out different field sections and choose when and where you reflect those fields. I'm super excited to see the pages that you all start building and how you start segmenting out your fields and field sections and determining when and where you wanna display them for your users. Back to you, Rebecca. Wow, what a lot of great new information on how we can use and leverage some of these cool new features like dynamic actions and forms. So to summarize, my some of my main key takeaways were one, start by enabling dynamic forms and setup to get started and leverage um, this new functionality. Two, be sure to label all of your new field sections so that you can keep track of all of these new groupings that you have now. And, and third, you know, the benefit of breaking up fields into these different sections is really so that you can hide and display data and fields when and where relevant. Um, this is super beneficial in that we can start to really use this one page to do many things. All right, so now it's your turn. Share a screenshot of your record page. Um, I want to see a new field section. I want to see an action and don't hold back. We want to see that creativity. Um, all right. So share that on Twitter using hashtag be an innovator and hashtag sweepstakes to enter to win. All entries for video three must be completed and tweeted to us with hashtag um, by 10 a.m. Pacific time, May 15th, 2020. So do see the rules because there are some restrictions that apply. And then join us for video four, where we are going to talk about designing for different devices and what that looks like. All right, see you then. Awesome at me.